King Jehoram of Judah, a tale of ambition, betrayal, and redemption. Once upon a time, in the magnificent kingdom of Judah, there ruled a king named Jehoram. He was the eldest son of King Jehoshaphat and inherited the throne after his father's demise. Though chosen to lead his people with wisdom and justice, Jehoram's path soon took a treacherous turn. In the early days of his reign, Jehoram harbored a deep ambition to expand his kingdom's influence. Fueled by this desire, he formed an alliance with the wicked King Ahab of Israel and married his daughter, Athaliah. Little did Jehoram know that these decisions would pave the way for his downfall. As time went on, Jehoram's true colors began to emerge. Following the footsteps of his iniquitous father-in-law, he introduced idol worship throughout the land of Judah. The golden calf, an abhorrent symbol of false gods, became a centerpiece in the kingdom's religious practices. This defiance of the God of Israel caused great sorrow among the righteous people of Judah. Furthermore, Jehoram's thirst for power betrayed his closest allies. He killed his brothers and many influential nobles who could have potentially challenged his authority. The kingdom was shattered by both internal strife and divine disapproval. The wrath of God soon descended upon Jehoram and his ill-gotten kingdom. Prophets, inspired by divine messages, spoke with conviction about the impending doom that awaited him. God sent a series of calamities, including raiding Philistine armies and a debilitating intestinal disease, which tormented Jehoram for years. His afflictions grew worse day by day until, finally, his own bowels burst, and he met his tragic demise. Despite the wickedness that had consumed King Jehoram, his legacy did not end completely in disaster. As the kingdom of Judah mourned his death and his rebellious son Ahaziah succeeded him, the virtuous influence of Jehoshaphat's righteous descendants brought redemption. King Jehoram's misdeeds served as a stark reminder to the people of Judah, urging them to return to their true faith and abandon the false idols that had polluted their land. Thus, while the reign of Jehoram of Judah is remembered as a dark chapter in the biblical narrative, it also stands as a testament to the power of divine justice, the danger of ambition without moral principles, and the possibility of seeking redemption even in the midst of despair.